Hello YouTube! My name's Nero and today we from Call of Duty Advanced Warfare playing a bit of Domination here on the Map Horizon running around with the HPRA 3 Assault Rifle and I gotta say I've not used this weapon in quite a long time. I don't know why, it was one of my favorite guns in the game, I just kind of stopped using it for quite a bit but I started using it a bit more last night and I ended up getting this gameplay which is actually pretty awesome. It's one of the better gameplays I've actually gotten in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. In terms of the score, definitely one of the best so hopefully you guys will all sit back, relax and enjoy that but I gotta say, I gotta throw this out there before we get into this. I do start off very very slow. Very slow. I think the majority of my deaths come within like the first minute or two of this game. Like I think almost like 90% of my deaths come within the first two minutes of this game. It just starts off just so awful. Just dying all the time. I was like, oh, it's gonna be one of these games where everywhere I go, there's just someone waiting on me and I'm just done. I'm just done so all the time. But I gotta say, man, I start cycling through my kill streaks. I start uh, understanding the flow a little bit more. I start getting in the right traffic spots. I end up just doing very well in this gameplay. So hopefully you guys will sit back, relax, and enjoy that. The other day, I was sitting here thinking to myself, why is is it that we love Call of Duty? Why is it that we love Call of Duty so much? Because we're all in a very special circumstance. We're all in a very special case here, right? You think you think of me. I'm a YouTuber, man. I've been making Call of Duty videos on my channel here for three plus years now. That's quite a long time. I would say I'm kind of a super fan in that respect. You guys are in the exact same boat. You're in the same boat. I was just a viewer uh, before I started doing YouTube as well. I would watch people on YouTube all the time until I decided I wanted to make my own YouTube channel. We are all part of like, this enthused group of people, right? Because not only... We, we we play a bunch of Call of Duty, right? And chances are we level up a bunch in those games. And chances are we buy the new one every single year. We probably buy all the DLC. You know, we're super fans. But not only, not only do we do that, but when we're not playing Call of Duty... We're also watching Call of Duty on YouTube, or chances are some of you guys follow me on Twitter or on Facebook and stuff, and then we're following Call of Duty people on YouTube, on Facebook and Twitter and stuff, and Call of Duty and YouTube and gaming and everything like that is just a giant part of our lives. Why is that? Why is it we love Call of Duty as much as we do? I really don't know. It's really kind of hard to kind of put your finger on one specific thing, but I have come up with a bunch of different reasons why I believe that we all love Call of Duty so much. I kind of wanted to explore that here in this video. The first thing I want to talk about was the fact that you you just can't beat Call of Duty. You can't. There's no finishing, there's no completing Call of Duty unless you were to do literally everything within the game. That's the thing, man. So to some people, finishing a game or 100%ing a game can mean different things. To some people, if you were to finish the campaign, then you were to you know, just play the multiplayer bit. Yeah, chances are you got your money's worth, you enjoyed the game, whatever. You know, you, you played the multiplayer, got the second prestige, you beat the whole campaign saw the story maybe you played a little bit of the side game modes whether it be spec ops or zombies or exo zombies or uh spec ops survival or exo survival whatever it is right maybe you play a little bit of that but to some people are like yeah i got my money's worth i had a whole lot of fun with that game i still have the time to invest a ton of it into the game whereas other people you can to some people like in finishing the game is completing the campaign completing it on veteran mode again on the hardest difficulty then going into multiplayer there and getting up to max rank in the multiplayer but if you want to go even further than that you could go even further than that you could go to the point where you're trying to complete all the challenges now i have not done this in a very long time but i tried to do this in world of war and maybe i'd go back someday but oh man it would just take so long to finish all the things in there but uh world of war call of duty 4 and modern warfare 2 are two different games where i have all of the gamer score for those games i also have like, all the gamer score on a couple madden games and other random assortment of games but uh those were some of the first ones i did was call of duty 4 world of war and modern warfare 2 i went back i beat the campaign originally i went and did all the random side achievements i went and beat the game on veteran and i also got the multiplayer achievement Achievements for let's say making it the first prestige or making it the 10th prestige in world of war there were zero game of score achievements for that as well uh to some people you can do that and then after that i'm like okay so i max rank in the game i beat in the campaign on everything i have all the gamer score but i still love this game i'm gonna go and try and do most of the challenges within the game and so i finished off all the boot camp challenges i got all the headshots for all the sniper rifles and i started working on the rifles which i think i'm actually pretty close on the rifles last time i checked which was several years ago uh i think i'm like 75 headshots plus on all the rifles and then i have like three of the three of them already finished off with all 150 headshots it's like i'm just doing all the challenges within the game as well and then at that point modern warfare 2 came out and i started playing modern warfare 2 a bunch and i started playing that you know of course and black ops came out then modern warfare 3 came out and of course I started doing youtube and things i just never end up finishing all of the challenges that you can do in the multiplayer but there's because there's so much to do and that's the thing about call of duty is there's so much for you to do in the game you can really tailor your own gaming experience to be whatever it is you want it to be you can just do whatever you want to do and chances are whatever it is you want to 
to do, you're not going to have time to finish it by the time the next Call of Duty game comes out. Of course, you could go back. You can definitely go back. That's one of the reasons Call of Duty is so popular to us. But chances are you're not going to finish everything you want to finish from the game. There's just so much content for you to go through. That's one of the great things about Call of Duty. Another thing I really think people really love about the game, what, what people really love about this gaming franchise, is the instant gratification of it. The games aren't long. They really aren't. Uh, the average Call of Duty game, especially here in Advanced Warfare, I'm going to say is anywhere. I've had Ground War team death matches that last three minutes. So I'm going to say three minutes to maybe 11 minutes at the most, right? These are relatively short matches. In these matches, anything can really happen. You have the satisfaction of knowing that you're facing other people. So when you do something cool, you feel awesome about it, right? When you just go and get like a quad date or something like that in the campaign, you don't care. You're facing, you're facing the computer. Chances are you're playing on normal difficulties so they are not even that good. You know, it's not really... Really that rewarding but when you're playing Call of Duty you have the satisfaction of knowing they're always playing against other people so whenever you do anything remotely awesome you feel great and it's a very rewarding experience whatever that may be you could go and get yourself a quad feed within a game which I've gotten a couple of those I'm working on that montage getting all the clips for it I'm gonna say I'm not putting out a release date or nothing but I'm getting the clips for it I'm definitely happy about that but you can get you can get yourself a quad feed you feel really good you know like damn I just did that against four people me myself took out four people right there like which is more than half of the opposing team for playing the standard playlist it feels really great right if you, you get a bunch of good kill streaks like i do in this game if you get a bunch of kills like i do in this game or you may maybe you lead the lobby or uh, i don't know you make an awesome comeback and then you look and you're like wow i was the guy that rallied that comeback there i had this really clutch moment on the final flag i killed off two people you know it's awesome that stuff can happen you feel really good when it happens and that stuff happens a ton in call of duty just because like i said the games are three to ten minutes long on average they have this kind of stuff happens a bunch and you really end up enjoying it it's definitely a whole lot of fun for that sometimes this is something that maybe some other people may not have experienced but i definitely experienced it in some of my earlier experiences of call of duty playing world of war and call of duty 4 and Modern Warfare 2 and stuff some people may almost have a role-playing thing with with themselves when they're playing call of duty now that may sound weird to some of you guys but role-playing can mean some different things some people think of role-playing as like erotic role-play it's kind of weird but so some people when you play call of duty you can sometimes feel like you're in the army you kind of feel like you're a soldier. You feel like this is intense. You know, when you would play uh, Call of Duty 4, or even, even Call of Duty Ghost, because it was all about this kind of thing, you really kind of feel like you're this spec op soldier. Like, especially you're playing Search and Destroy or something like that. You're the last one. You're going in there, you're getting the bomb planted, and, you know, you're taking up a smart position so you can try and take out the person. You kind of feel like you're this spec op soldier. One of the things that really got me into Call of Duty, because, of course, you guys know I played a bit of COD 4 in 2007, but my big, huge experience in the Call of Duty was World of War in 2008. On that game, the maps were so big. And I loved the idea of sniping so much that we would play hardcore team deathmatch because there's no kill cam in hardcore and there's no mini map unless there's a UAV up, right? So I would play hardcore team deathmatch with a sniper and I would lay in a field, like in the back of the map, right? And I would just snipe people just like so far away and I would get like two or three kills the entire game because I'm just sitting there hard scoping one particular like church tower or something like that. I'm like anyone goes in that church tower, I'm gonna ping them off. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm doing. I'm a sniper. And I would do that and it was so much fun. Like I almost like like pretending you're a sniper in a way right and that's one of the things i really think people uh, really kind of enjoy about call of duty that's what's definitely awesome about it and the best thing about call of duty i think is the fact that it's such an older franchise now it's such an old franchise been out for ages now what is it when did the first call of duty come out i want to say it was 2003 i could be wrong about that but it's so old now the franchise that if you're ever bored of a game there's like a giant list of other ones for you to go play so you never really have an excuse to not play call of duty unless you're just completely bored of the entire concept of a first person shooter let's say advanced warfare you're bored of advanced warfare already you're not enjoying it you don't like the xo movement you're not a big fan of the classic playlist you just aren't enjoying yourself as much as you have been in prior call of duty games well let's see here you could go back and play ghosts you can go back and play black ops 2 modern warfare 3 black ops 1 world at war modern warfare 2 call of duty 4 call of duty 3 call of duty 2 uh, all these things have all nine multiplayer call of duty 3 and 2 you'll probably be hard pressed to find a lobby for but you could still go back and play these things there's a ton there's a giant list of these games and within all these games there's a bunch of extra mini games you think of the fact that there's zombies in all these games you think it or all the trailer games anyway you think of the fact that there's spec ops and spec ops survival and there's once again those campaigns you can go back and do and try and get the gamer score or the playstation trophies or whatever it is you're on playing on right there's so much for you to do with this franchise and it's really all about tailoring it to your own experience you can do whatever you want with the game that's what's really kind of fun about it. that's why i believe people really enjoy call of duty is the fact that there's so much to do and that it's just fun to play a first person shooter game i think that's one of the 
bigger things I didn't really cover in this video is the fact that playing a first person shooter is a ton of fun. You get to hop on, you especially if you have some friends to play with, you take your guns and you go and you shoot people and you get to watch all the pretty numbers come up and the numbers are actually a thing. Did you guys know that they actually increased the numbers in Call of Duty to make you feel even more rewarded when you got a kill? So you think of Domination, right? And this is before Advanced Warfare, before they changed it to 200 and stuff, but traditionally you'd get 150 points for capturing a flag of Domination. You would get 50 points for getting a kill in Domination. That's kind of how it's always been. Before that, Call of Duty 4 and World of War, you got 15 points for a flag capture and 5 points for a kill. What they ended up doing was in Modern Warfare 2, starting there, and they, they always kept on going with this, they changed it around, so they basically just added a bunch of zeros to everything. Search and Destroy, you, you, you probably think like, oh yeah, you get 500 points a kill. It used to be 50. They added zeros to these numbers to make it feel like you're getting bigger and bigger numbers, which just makes you feel happier, you know? And I like it. That's one of the things I kind of like about Call of Duty, is the numbers. One of the things I really enjoy about Black Ops 2 is just playing Kill Confirmed and just watching all the numbers pop up as I'm getting kills and confirming all these tags and seeing how many confirms I could get at the end of the match. It was just enjoyable. Something about the game itself, the smooth 60 FPS, you know, the, the, the fluidity of the game is how fast it feels and is how smooth everything is that really no other games really seem to replicate very well. That's one of the best parts about Call of Duty. But there we go, a final score of 51 kills and 7 deaths. So we also had 5 captures and 2 defends. I, I did this gameplay. I'm just playing it, right? Now, out of nowhere, it's like, you've got 51 kills. I'm like, when the world did I get 51 kills? But I definitely had a lot of fun in that gameplay. Let me know in the comments. Why do you believe we all love Call of Duty so much? And don't be one of those nerds that's like, I hate Call of Duty, yet I still play it all the time, and I still watch YouTube videos of it. I hate people like that. You are just lying to yourself. If you're watching this video, if you're watching any of my videos, if you still play the game, don't act like you hate it because you love it. Why is it you guys believe you love Call of Duty so much? I hope you guys all enjoyed this video, and if you did, please be sure to leave a rating. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day.